Boom! What's going on everyone? This is Steve Larson and uh, we thought it'd be kind of funny today to walk through some of the the more hilarious support tickets. I, our goal is not to offend anybody by doing this today, but we thought how funny would it be to walk through some of the support tickets that we get. And again, it's not meant to be offensive. This is not, we're not making fun of anybody, but uh, there are some things that people reach out about or ask me to do for them that is... Um, I don't know what the word is. It's surprising. And so we're going to cue the intro here. And uh, we, we over the years, we've actually been collecting, there's actually a big whiteboard list over there of very funny support tickets. And it's almost like, almost like a, I don't know, it's almost like a, like a contest to see what the funniest one is that's come on in. <laughs> and so again, not meant to be offensive, but we thought it'd be kind of funny to share some of these things with you guys. Let's cue the intro and we'll go right on in. I've spent the last four years learning from the most brilliant marketers today. And now I've left my nine to five to take the plunge and build my million dollar business. The real question is, how will I do it without VC funding or debt completely from scratch? This podcast is here to give you the answer. Join me and follow along as I learn, apply and share marketing strategies to grow my online business using only today's best internet sales funnels. My name is Steve Larson and welcome to Sales Funnel Radio. What's up? Okay, so we're gonna start right here up at the top, and um, I don't know, just walk through each one of these pieces here. So, yeah. just, just so you know, like when when I first started doing this about two years ago, it was just me, and then Russell was like, "Hey, for your first hire, make sure you find somebody who can help you with support A, and then B, like, can go out and help you actually um, do like a, like revenue generation kind of activities." <clears throat> and so I was like, "Oh, came in and hired Colton, and Colton was doing all these support things." And we've gone from we've gone around several softwares, yeah. But uh, it's been anyway. It's been fun. It's been it's been an interesting drive. How many support tickets do you think we get in a month? Ooh, hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot these There's days. There's a lot nowadays. <laughs> really? There's quite yeah. a few. Yeah. Yeah. It's Wait, definitely how, got up. How many hundreds? I, I maybe. What do you think? A couple hundred? Yeah, I'd say. I mean, I'd say one fifty to two fifty. Yeah, somewhere around there. A month. Yeah. Wow. You guys have a lot of questions. That's great. I'm glad that you guys are right on in. That's good. I mean, you know, we're not discouraging that at all. Um, but uh, every once in a while, there's that 1%, not the good kind that everyone talks about. It's the bad 1% who, who just, I think, is having a bad day and wants to, you know, people get a little tough behind their computer screens and they wouldn't say what they would normally say in front of you. They say it online. And, and you know, it's it's usually... One of these two, especially Colton, that kind of usually hits that and gets the flack for it. <laughs> and so, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we thought we'd go through some of these and be, be kind of fun. So it's probably because I'm a patient dude, and like, yeah, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not easily pissed off. So yeah, maybe that's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this would be awesome. Here, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna ease into things here. First, <laughs> first one on the list: Can Steve look at my stuff for free? Now, I totally get this one, but at the same time, this is a better question. For Steve, like seven, eight, nine years ago, <laughs> yeah, Wait, you know what I'm saying. Where where Steve's at now, uh, his time is the most precious gem in the business right now. So, uh, yeah, it's just it's just not doable. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, it, it's funny how many people get kind of frustrated when they're like, "Why won't you just look at my funnel?" Like, I, this is actually people get really mad about that. It's like, I would, but there's a line of like a hundred, you know. Yesterday, yeah, you honestly got to give them a little bit of like credit like they don't know everything that's going on right but then i'm also like do you not see like the youtube channel the podcast like all the crap that's going on there like you you should probably have a pretty good idea yeah that he's got a lot going on busy Just man like, <laughs> well and like it, i totally get like there's there's no you know if you don't ask the question if you don't ask you're definitely not going to get it so it's like okay like you should ask which is great but uh it is shocking how frequent that one comes in yeah is, is that among more of the top you know, I think it's just because it's so shocking when we do. It's one of those ones that sticks out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like over and over. What yeah. was the most recent one? You know, honestly, like a couple weeks ago, I think we got one. That was just the funnel. Like, hey, can you just look over my funnel real quick? It's only going to take like five minutes. Like, I get that it's, it can be quick, but it's also not going to take five minutes. Also, so. his knowledge is worth thousands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For free. No, <laughs> oh, man. Uh... What's this next one you guys put on? You want to write and go for it? Oh, this one's awesome. <laughs> uh, so the next one is, literally we have it out here right 
uh, people think that Steve himself is answering the support tickets. My favorite part about that, I don't know if you've seen this, Austin, is like literally I'll respond back to something and my name is under there. Colton. Colton <laughs> Woods. From Colton. Right? But they'll respond and be like, thank you so much, Steve. That was so awesome. Or thanks for the help. Or thanks for looking at it. And I'm like, I don't know where you're getting Steve Some, from. Sometimes I just act like Steve. So <laughs> if Steve's answering your support tickets, know that it's me. Yeah. There's many times where I'll act like I'm my assistant, even though I don't have one yet. <laughs> when it's like, and I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm like, I, if I answer... There's like always three things that come back, you know, it's like yeah. the comments have babies. So yeah. <laughs> they multiply. This is Steve's assistant. Thank you so much for reaching out. He, if you have a question, reach on out to goanswerme.com. You know, that's pretty funny. You know, what's funny is I've had people say that there's someone's assistant. And because of you, I now like double question that. Like guaranteed it's not their assistant. It's probably <laughs> actually them. Usually isn't. <laughs> I learned that from Russell. I was, um, I was in on a Saturday answering a bunch of tickets before I ever left ClickFunnels. And he walked in and he goes, he goes, what are you doing, man? It was on a Saturday. I was like, oh, uh, well, I'm working on my own business right now. Hopefully that's not weird, you know? And, and he goes, what you doing? I was like, I've been answering social media questions coming in for six hours. And he goes, dude, I totally get it. And I've got the best cure for it. And you're not honestly gonna like it, but are you willing to do it? I said, yeah, what is it? You don't have to answer. <laughs> And I was like, what? And he goes, I know, right? You, The giver on you wants to go in, and, but you don't have to. Anyway. It's just not enough time. Yeah, it's got to be time Nazi a little bit. Next on the list, when is Offermind? This this is a, this like is a good lesson. Yeah, like, like yeah. <laughs> the, Starting time, locations. This is locations. a good lesson that I learned yeah. from you, and it's that y you're really good at qualifying your customer, like the mm -hmm. type of buyer you want, huh. and you let the funnel do the selling. If, if the funnel doesn't sell them, they're not a good customer. Yeah. And so when dates are all over the funnel pages, they're in every email, <laughs> we're posting them all over the podcast and social media and someone asks, uh, when is the date? Like the simplest question, Yeah. not a good fit. What's the name of this event? And they're like <laughs> responding to something that says offer mine. Mm -hmm. And like that happens Yep. a bit. Yeah, that one's funny. Cause we're not the funnel. Yeah. The funnel's the funnel and that's yep. how we look at it. So it means anyway, yeah. I'm pretty sure I actually got that question like the day before too. Yeah. Like, you you don't. How do you not have stuff like set up and ready for that? Like, <laughs> it's in every it's in every footer of every page. <laughs> the date, the, the the date, the time, the location. Mm -hmm. That one's kind of funny coming in. You you got to take this next. Yeah, this next. Yeah, one. I was gonna say. <laughs> I've had this one several times, several times. Just so you guys know, the internet is mean, and you got a little bit of a thick skin. You got to grow one. And this is one of the first major support tickets I got, like, ever. So it, it crushed my little soul at the time. <laughs> and this guy, this guy reached out and he goes, Dear Steven, I hope you and your family burn in hell forever. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and they were, they were super, anyway, I, I have had that one several times. It's very interesting. You know, if you have any level of success, people will think that you're immediately a scammer, which is really interesting. Like, oh, I guess Apple's a scam. <laughs> Google's a scam. I don't know. Anyway, so weird. That happens, but whatever. That's sad. Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on, baby. <laughs> Bring it on. It'll happen as you guys come. Actually, me talking about this one is one of the reasons. So, like, Russell had this podcast episode a few weeks ago where it's, it's almost like this, this, the negativity comes in waves. It's like, mm. oh, that sucked a little bit. And then it's like, boom, the internet comes back again. Then it goes away. And then it's like the naysayers, like, have a convention I don't know what it is. It's like drum circle convention, and they go, they go in, and they, they're like, let's go attack this guy today. And it's crazy. There was this week that the internet was really mean, and Russell and I were chatting about it, and he's like, it's just the internet testing to see if you really believe what you say you do. If you treat it that way, it's a lot easier. That's good. Yeah. It's a cool way to think about it. <clears throat> Dude, you want to do the next, next one? one? This one's good. Oh, man. <laughs> this is actually probably one of my favorite. I bought the product. Where is it? I'll refund on you. Oh, wait. Here it is in my email. <laughs> <laughs> it's like three consecutive emails. So it's like the first response is, where the heck is the product? And then it's like, because we don't respond, honestly. Like, who responds within an hour? I don't know. But we can't. I don't know. It's we don't, yeah. Yeah, we don't Click do Clickfunnels just added live support, like just now, you know? <laughs> yeah. So like two hours later, they're like, I'm going to refund on you if you don't give me the access to product. And then by the time I look at it the next day or whatever... 
They're like, oh, sorry. Well, here it is. I responded to the email that actually had access to the product, so yeah, my bad. And, I'm like, and, and we're like, when we're building the funnels, we're very diligent. I even noticed today, mm. you, you always spot check when it's done. Little things like the fulfillment email. Mm. To make sure links are in there, to make sure account credentials and so on and so forth. So, uh, yeah, we, we're, we're super good with our fulfillment emails. We're really good at it. It's <laughs> funny because the, the, the part that kills me is when people go on the social media pages and groups and say, mm. Steve Larson, I've messaged your support two times now, and I can't find this thing, rah, rah, rah. And then in the comment right underneath it, they go, never mind, I found it. Everyone, please disregard. But in that time, <laughs> they've gone and given one-star reviews on the freaking pages. And you're like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yep. Like, it, it's an auto-responder. It goes out immediately. <laughs> it's oh, so funny. Yeah, like, I get it if you didn't get the fulfillment email. Sure. It totally makes sense. Like, yeah. that happens. I understand. Sometimes you got to check your spam, see if it's in there. But when they actually respond to the fulfillment email <laughs> itself, which happens yeah. more often than not. The response, kind of like the auto email goes out and then they, they respond to the auto email and saying, where's the link to the members area? And it's in the email they're responding to. Yeah. That one's, that's funny. The lesson there is to read every <laughs> email that we send. Yeah. <laughs> I won't waste your time. <laughs> Don't skip a word. For time Nazis. <laughs> The next one. Uh, awesome. Next up, can you review my software? That's gonna be <laughs> the next ClickFunnels killer. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> Simple answer, no. <laughs> trying to build this, the ClickFunnels killer. Can you review the software in the funnel to sell it? <laughs> Every time I see that, I lean over to Steve. I'm like, bro, somebody wants you to review their next ClickFunnels software killer. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> big, big marketing tip is to uh, understand. Your audience. Understand who you're trying to sell to. I don't think you're going to sell a ClickFunnels killer to this guy. <laughs> very, very funny. Yeah, that one's funny. Can you review my software? I forgot about those. I mean, Russell did make a shirt that has gears in the heart, red and blue, after what Steven said about ClickFunnels. <laughs> like, I don't think you're going to get any reviews from... Yeah, it's not going to happen. Actually, I will get on and help you create that. <laughs> Anyone know any good viruses? Anyone? Anyone? Viruses? Uh, right. Oh, man. Next up. We kind of went through that one. We kind of went through that one, yeah. I feel oh, like yeah. The, the next two kind of go hand in hand. Yeah. I can read those. Go for yeah, it. Go for it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is my next favorite. <laughs> uh, tickets without an actual question behind oh, yeah. it. It's more of just like, a statement that leads absolutely nowhere. It's just a thought. Yeah. <laughs> they just, and it'll be like two paragraphs usually. Like they're right. wrong and you don't know what they're asking. Yeah, I'm like, you know how many times we respond? I'm like, so what exactly do you need from us? Like, <laughs> it's like, I see. Yeah. It's actually, sometimes so, I do. I'm like, how does this involve us? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not sure what you're asking. Can you like help reframe that, please? Um, and that goes along with the next one, which is tickets without context. Literally. Yeah. They're like, hey, uh, I need this thing. Yeah, the, the, like the link isn't in there. And it's like, where is there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what link? I, I can't find what what did you buy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what did you buy? Yeah. <laughs> I can't log in. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. What can you not log into? Like, I have no idea what you're talking about, you know? Or yeah. they'll respond and be like, Steven, send me my bonuses you promised. Yeah. What did you buy? What bonuses? <laughs> we were on a lot of stuff, you know? Yeah. There's like no context. That the, is, yeah, the, the, the clearer the questions, the faster we get back on support tickets. <laughs> yeah, we'll always answer them. Yeah. I've even seen somewhere it's just literally the subject line. Like there's no body text at all. <laughs> there's nothing in literally it? Literally just the subject Wait, line. Where's the link? <laughs> yeah, where's the link? And I'm like, ah. Just go to Google. I'm like, <laughs> there's a link. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, man. I gotta go for this next one because this one is so funny to me. Oh, yeah. um, support tickets we get about ClickFunnels memberships. This one is hilarious. Uh, people will ask me questions. In fact, this happened last night. I won't say who it is because he's very famous. Uh, someone mm. reached out and they, they wanted to know about a ClickFunnels thing in their ClickFunnels account. I don't work for ClickFunnels. Like, I don't have access to your accounts. I don't see anything in your ClickFunnels. I only Dude. see my ClickFunnels account. I don't even have access to, I don't have access to Russell's anymore. I haven't for a long time. Hmm. Wow. would be like, how do I, how do I fix my billing in my account? <laughs> Talk to ClickFunnels. That, we're not ClickFunnels. <laughs> and, and piggybacking off that, yeah, if, makes... if you are, if we push you oh. to go get a ClickFunnels issue solved, mm -hmm. don't, you can't, 
CC us on emails with ClickFunnels support. It doesn't yeah. do anything. That happened yesterday. Yeah. I was wondering yeah. what those were. They get really confused as well. Oh, yeah, they yeah. CC us and ClickFunnels at the same time. So then we see these threads. It's ClickFunnels support agents chat back and forth, and we're just seeing it. We're like, uh, yeah. That's, I forgot about that. Yep. You know that actually... I thought you were asking something. That was somebody else. That was happening. Somebody else. Oh, man. <laughs> that kind of leads into the uh, OFA challenge. I mean, we get a lot of people that are like, hey, like, I don't, I didn't get my bonuses for the OFA challenge. I bought it through Steve's link, but we never actually got a commission or any kind of, like, it doesn't show that you bought through our link, which... And they didn't actually buy through the link, yeah. That's probably a good thing to even just go over now is, like, sometimes just open up an incognito window, whatever it may be, like, clear your cache. Yeah. Those different things, it helps actually, like, make it so you actually go through Steve's link instead of... The last person yeah. link that you may have been on. If if you if you want the goods, buy uh <laughs> yeah. Opt into the affiliate pages in an incognito browser. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's yeah. the trick. <laughs> or um, one I will personally get is people will. You understand? I literally have thousands, no joke, of mm. unread Facebook Messenger messages. I don't even open Facebook Messenger anymore. I'm not saying I'm proud of that or that it's the right way to go, uh, but it's just the reality of where we are right now, and we're growing the business. You know, we're mm. staying lean and mean. But people will reach out and be like, Stephen, how come you haven't accepted access uh, for me into the newest One Funnel Away Challenge? I'm, like, I'm not even an admin on the page. Why are you reaching out to me? I don't have that. <laughs> I'm just a coach that's contracted in. Talk to ClickFunnels. <laughs> so it's funny. Yeah. I feel like the next one we've already <clears throat> Yeah, we're kind of into that one. <laughs> you feel it. All right. Uh... uh. I thought secret MLM hacks, or I thought this program was a totally done for you system. That one's funny, especially when it's like a when it's like a fifty-seven dollar product. Yeah, when it's like a fifty-seven dollar product, they'll be like, "You're not building my whole funnel for me." I don't have any done for you services because I don't really believe in it. Yeah. yeah. Re read what you're getting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's we, in we, the we, offer yeah. is what we deliver. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. Oh man. <laughs> Went over the bonuses. I feel like you got to take the next one as well. <laughs> I bought the seven dollar product an hour ago. Where are my bonuses? No, after that one. Oh, oh, that one. oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you understand that as a marketer, one of the roles that you have is to generate noise, and one of the easiest ways to generate noise is to realize that there's two ways to do it. You first can generate noise, or the easier way and the smarter way is you're not trying to create noise. You're trying to align with where noise already is. So if somebody like Trump, who I don't care what you think about him, and I'm not saying any political agenda here, right? But would you say he has a lot of noise right now? He's got tons of noise, right? That's why we created this thing called makeaffiliatesgreatagain.com. Makeaffiliatesgreatagain.com was meant to be a spoof and write off of the noise of make America great again. Why not make it even more controversial and noise bound by putting a Trump toupee in the logo. <laughs> Just me doing that alone. I, it's so funny how many people that offended, which is, it's very shocking also. We sent out the announcement email about that and I can't tell you how many people reached back out and they're like, you said the word Trump. I don't know, I, I now know what kind of person you are. Goodbye. And that was it. Bye. And I was like, okay, see ya. <laughs> I, I like to respond to the, all right, bye. Like, you don't see what I'm doing here? I, I, I didn't give any political agenda, nor will I ever. And I didn't, like, anyway, so funny. They just, just the fact of what, oh, he's the spawn of Satan. And because you said his name, you clearly are too. I know who you are. And then gone. Like, that happens frequently, which is funny. So we decided to make ads about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught that, like, literally, I don't know how many times we've created products, done funnels that is just riding the wake, literally just right behind the noise, and it, it works great, like, so good. you guys gotta mm -hmm. watch him on that, see what he's doing, you can take a ton from it. He's just Genius. kind of aligned with it, yeah. Yeah. Also, piggybacking off that, <laughs> I've, I've bought plenty of offers from people who I don't necessarily agree with something that they do. Yeah. But I get value from what I buy. That's yeah. that's all I care about. So, uh, yeah. yeah, no no need to no need to get butt hurt on stuff if you don't agree with it. If Can you say butt hurt, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, sorry, iTunes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, if if something can, I'm under the mindset of if something can provide you value, that that's all that all that should matter. Totally.
I bought a lot of products where frankly I don't go through much of the actual product. It's merely just so that I can see how they're selling it. Mm -hmm. And that's been worth the price I've paid alone. And uh, But people, especially, you understand one of the reasons we don't do a lot of $7 and $57, we don't do a lot of price ranges around that strategically. Um, because typically, and I don't want to offend anyone when I say this, but you'll find that the more expensive prices you charge, the better the person is, like the situation in their life, <clears throat> to act. So if you go for something that's like a dollar, um, a lot of times you'll find that the people just like, it's, it's, it's people who don't have a lot of money, understandably, and I'm not, I'm not making fun of that, but there's a lot more of like the starving mentality, and so they look at you like an enemy if the bonus, for some reason, the zeros and ones God threw up that day and got sick, and the a bonus didn't show up in 15 seconds. They reach back out and they're like, burn in hell, you're crazy, oh my gosh, right? And they're like, like what is, holy crap, like, your spam filter caught it, it sent. Like, anyway, mm. yeah, happens. 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 <clears throat> totally. <clears throat> this next one, this was a personal favorite of mine. <laughs> this is recent. <laughs> yeah, this, this is very recent. Well, this particular one was recent. Mm -hmm. we, we had, we had uh, someone recently that reached out. It was, it was a just hard pitch case studies, yeah. results, everything that wanted to help Steve launch an info product and teach him how to launch an info product. <laughs> <laughs> like he's never done it before. <laughs> it's like the people who reach out asking if they can build a website. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that was a good one. It was a... He put a lot of effort into it, but... <laughs> it was a lot of effort, but... The, it's kind of like the Dream 100 things, though. You, you get two that are like... <coughs> obviously, they don't know you at all. Mm. No. Like... Yeah. Like you even said, like, Russell gets wine bottles all the time. And he yeah. talks about how he doesn't drink, like, all the time. But yep. You yeah. still get them. It's <clears throat> wine bottles. They're like, yeah, that's that's interesting. Know your audience. Know yeah. the audience. Know the audience. Do a little research yeah. and find out. Yeah. Listen to an episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, which y'all are obviously are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But would you want to take the next one? Oh, I've, that is. This happens this is, to you a this lot. This is Colton's favorite. <laughs> yeah, that is the best. We love it. <laughs> literally changing services out of this. So we literally get. I don't. I feel like it's like three affiliates a day. Like it is mm. crazy amount of affiliate people signing up for the affiliate pro. Program. To sell our products. To sell our products, yeah. And so they send in their W8 or W9, whatever it may be. And it just blows my mind that they fill everything out. And then there's one blank spot. The one blank spot that is like the most important blank spot. And that is the signature. <laughs> like, <laughs> it says sign here. And I think it's even on the page like multiple times. Like we cannot accept it if it's not signed. There's a place like, where you sign. Yeah. That says sign. If we needed to show that somewhere for like some purpose, how are we gonna prove that it's even you at all? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so they don't they don't sign it and they just send it right in or something. Yeah, so they don't. And I I, I get like the, <laughs> it's kind of hard because you gotta print it out, you gotta sign it, but we do have tech nowadays and you can digitally sign a ton of stuff, so that yeah. makes it a lot easier. Here's a little hack: write your signature on a piece of paper, scan it, and save it as a picture on your computer. Mm -hmm. And then you can just put it on any PDF. Yeah. Nice and easy. Done. <laughs> and Done. even if you have a Mac, Preview. Preview lets you preview, sign something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can use the trackpad and put like sign the trackpad, and then it saves it as your signature. You can put it on any document you want. Comes with Macs. <laughs> Comes with it. <laughs> and what's nice is when you sign your forms, we can get you paid quicker. So that's the incentive there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You can't pay unless you do it. Yep. There was one... Um, this guy reached out to me. This happened like two or three weeks ago. And uh, um, it was one of these situations where the bonus hadn't been sent immediately. Um, and so he reached out and his first message was, you're clearly a scam. And I was like, so I, I don't, I'm, I'm just tired of like, I'm, I'm not gonna defend, I'm, I'm not gonna play like small. Anyway, I get feisty back, all right? I suck at support because I yell at people back. I just do. It's one of the things that makes me a good coach for click funnels because I don't put up with people's junk. And so I don't in support either, which is why Colton is so, like, <laughs> such a godsend <laughs> because I would yell at people in a support tickets. 
Like, how do I add a funnel? Click add funnel. Have you Googled it? It's it's literally orange and big. It has add funnel right there at the top of the page. You know, and so anyway, so I would get kind of flustered and frustrated with some people. It's just my personality and, and that's okay, right? And we all come together as a team on this. But this guy came right out swinging. You're clearly a scam and your, your, your company sucks or something like that. So I reached back out and I said, well, you're not exactly the dream client either. <laughs> and uh, this all, I don't think I told you guys about this one. <laughs> In fact, I should find. Dang, we should have got it. I should, yeah, I should have put it on. It was so good. And uh, and he goes, you're not the dream client either. And he goes, wow, you really know how to reel them in. I was like, actually, I know how to keep them away too. And um, <laughs> anyway, I should That's stop awesome. there. It went on for a while. And finally, I was like, look, I'm not here begging for clients. And it's part of the reason why we built a company that we love working for our people. Um, and uh, it, it didn't it didn't end well. It didn't end well. When you come out swinging, saying that clearly we're scammers, like it doesn't help us want to, you know, especially with like a seven dollar thing. We are totally fine refunding, yeah, and just saying stay out of our world. You know what I mean? 100%. And we're not saying to you guys here on the show because you guys all know the show. You you love it. You mean you've been following the journey, but you understand? I mean, there's a lot of people who reach back out and they're just they're they're predestined and have this predisposition for just ridiculous negativity and we did not start this to become life coaches you know what i mean <laughs> we started this to offer what our offer is so you gotta be careful of that that's actually very key for this whole thing mm -hmm. what's that gonna do for you you know uh, like i don't know looking at it that way it's not gonna it's not gonna help you get any farther it's crazy yeah um you go to the next one Ooh. the last one <laughs> colton i feel like you should tackle this one. yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think this was actually my conversation. Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah, this was a while ago. I totally forgot about this. This has happened frequently, though. <laughs> this is... It has. It's I think happened. it was. Happened on the Trump one. The first time it happened, I was kind of surprised. I was like, really? All right. So we, I literally got an email from somebody asking to unsubscribe them from the email list. And I'm like, okay. Like, that's weird, but I had to ask. I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> well you can. Like, why do you want to be unsubscribed? And then also, there is an unsubscribe button at the bottom of the email. You can literally click and it'll unsubscribe you just by clicking it. Which legally we have to have in there, by the way. Like, right? It so, works. Yeah. I mean, I unsubscribe from emails that I don't want all the time, you know? Yeah. So she wrote back and it was, it was awesome. She's like, why would I ever click on anything in an email that has hacks in the subject line? <laughs> <laughs> Which to her credit, <laughs> yeah, yeah. to her credit, right? <laughs> but to a hacker's <laughs> default, like to hackers, if you put the word oh, hacks in, it, yeah. everyone knows what you're. Anyway, I know, right? Like I'm a hacker. I'm gonna put hacks in my headline. You know, they don't do that. But then my my next thought is is how did she get on the email list in the first place? Yeah, you know, yeah. like where did where did you go to put your email in? It was probably a page that said secret home hacks. Yeah. I'm just saying, <laughs> some hack or some. I don't know. We use the word hack and secret everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, blew my mind. I'm like, that's... And she got mad and wouldn't. So then you said, well, I'll just keep... I guess you'll just keep getting the emails then. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm sorry. You have to unsubscribe. Uh, so I guess you'll just keep getting emails. That's cool with me, but... Yeah. If you don't like it, I'm unsubscribe. Man. I don't know. Any others? Any, any other all-stars that have come across in the past little bit? Uh, I mean, we get pitch after pitch after pitch after pitch. You They're always a lot. unique in their own way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're kind of surprising, though, some of them. Like, some of them have asked, like, there was, some people will say, like, well, I'll teach you how to make an offer. It's like, do you, you don't even know what we do. Then. Like, yeah. Anyway, the Instagram ones are hilarious. Mm, <laughs> I get yeah. a lot of those. Let me help you build it. Or you're not getting enough engagement. Also, <laughs> if you're trying to get Steve's attention, spell his name right, please. <laughs> oh, please spell his name right. <laughs> yeah, S-T-E-V-E-N. <laughs> like, oh, man. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, there's been a few really funny parts about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, just all in all, guys, we want you to know, like, <clears throat> we wanted to walk through this, but what we're not trying to create here is a feeling that someone has, like, we're not downplaying any questions somebody has. Questions are a good thing, but I also do believe that there's such thing as a stupid question. That whole thing they tell you in school is dumb. There's no such thing as a dumb question. Yes, there is. It's the question that you took no thought to try to answer on your own, and it's it's not meant to be rude. It's just that's just how entrepreneurs think, though, right? I mean, you got Google. I have a YouTube education. Um, you can search this massive vault. Never in the history of the world has ever been so much information present, but such a lack in learning how to get it, right, and understanding how to actually get after it. Um, 
we love our customers. We love you guys. We love the show. We love everything that uh, that has been happening here. And we just go into these. It's, it's honestly, you understand? Like this is some of this is kind of the watered down version too. We get a lot of garbage from people who clearly hate our guts. So some of this might be a little bit of a steam blowing off episode as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah. But it's a very small portion of it. Like yeah. you guys do an awesome job overall. It's just there's those ones that come in that really stick out. Uh, we'll always try to. Um, well, I always try to over deliver too. I, that's that's really what I've tried to build this name that we've developed on here uh, around is just over over delivering. That, and I always encourage you to do that to anybody that you go serve. Um, you do that in fun little surprising ways as well. Doing this show costs us a lot of money, frankly. This is one of the ways that we try to over deliver. Um, but uh, support. It's funny. There was somebody somebody mentioned once, if you had amazing fulfillment, you'd never need support. That is so false. They've never actually sold anything ever. That is a theorist, right? That, that, that person got straight A's in school. Um, <laughs> because it's not true. People, you know, every once in a while, something does happen with email and it doesn't show up. And, and, it, and something doesn't, and it's not that we're trying to scam anybody, like something in a system jacked up somewhere and we want to fix it as much as the other person wants to receive it. And so we, uh, anyway. Um, we're very, very thankful for you guys. Thanks for following the journey. We thought it'd be kind of fun as uh, Sales Funnel Radio will be ending at episode 300 um, as far as our involvement here with it. And I um, uh, wanted to make kind of a fun, I mean, how many ep how many um, support tickets do you think we've gotten like total? Oh. I mean, in the last two years. I have no clue. Because <laughs> oh, we were on that <laughs> other system for a while, which is terrible. Yeah. I like the new one. Um, Are we on like 20,000 something, 20 I, something thousand? I feel like that's pretty fair, yeah. Yeah, it has Something nothing like to that. do with fulfillment. Like some people are just wondering yeah. a genuine question and they're like, ah, oh, I'll go reach out like this and not realizing that it's probably the least effective way to try to get my attention, you know? So anyway, yeah. Anyway. It's, sometimes yeah. it just takes less time to actually just look into the program, the pro problem and figure it out. The FAQs at the bottom yeah. of the page <laughs> that we always put right. there. So anyway, make sure that, uh, and, and you guys, you entrepreneurs watching this right now, make sure that you make it easy for people to reach out to you. Right now, uh, my wife and I, we bought this water machine about two months ago. It is still not installed. The installation process with this company has been so horrendous that I love the product, but I'm looking at it and I'm trying to not hate the product simply because I can't use it. Make sure that the, the fulfillment that you are delivering to people is as smooth and seamless as it possibly could be. It always could be better. It, the purchase is never over at the checkout, at the card swipe. Um, they got to get it. They got to use it and have success with it. And that's the best place, that's the best thing you can do post-purchase to uh, ensure the success of your company. So anyway, make it easy for your, for your, for your customers and people who aren't. Um, anything else? That's all I have. Cool. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Get rich. Get back. We'll see you guys in the next episode. All right. Now, you listening to this right now, you're in one of two scenarios. Either you're currently selling a product and you've got a slick sales funnel and traffic. There's ads and you have content bringing in new customers. You have up sales and down sales and phone sales and you've almost automated it, making money while doing everyday things. Either that's all set up and going, or the second option is you don't have any of that, right? And you're still trying to make this work and tie all these pieces together. If you want my help, just go to capitalistcoaching.com and see where you can get started. It took me a long time to get the skills for all this to get moving. Writing the sales letter, making the sales videos, building the funnel, writing follow-up emails, promo campaigns, promo emails, fulfillment plans, fresh new ads. There's a lot. And the path to move forward is different for each person. So I created capitalistcoaching.com for you to check out where you need to start. Whether you're just starting out with no product, no list, or a single clue on what to do next, or if you like one of our big corporate clients who just needs to add more revenue and scale your offer, go to capitalistcoaching.com. I don't really believe in shortcuts, but I do know you can speed up the path on the journey. Figure out the best place to start by going to capitalistcoaching.com now.